There you go, Connor. Put the pole, the telephone pole right That's there. That's fine. There's tracks. She just said not to make the house of prayer into a den of thieves. <laughs> Making the house of prayer into a den of thieves. What? This is a perfect example of a lukewarm church. This is what's wrong with the church in America. We care more about money than the things of God. Amen. We charge sinners money to park in our parking lot and tailgate and get drunk and dress immodest, use filthy communication, yet we claim to be a holiness church. We claim to be a spirit-filled church filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah, we're charging to park in a parking lot. God have mercy. Are you calling any of these people to repentance? The ones that are worshiping sports? The ones that are dressed in modest, fornicating, getting drunk in your parking lot? What are we doing, people? What are we doing? How can we sit there and say we follow Jesus Christ? Yeah, we care more about the things of the world. The Bible says if you're a friend of the world, you're an enemy of God. If you're a friend of the world, you're an enemy of God. Jesus said, my father's house is a house of prayer, but you have made it into a den of thieves. Why do we care so much about money and the things of the world? What about these lost souls that are dying and going to hell? Why are you not out there witnessing to those people? Two, four, six, seven people were sitting in chairs collecting money when there's people that are dying and going to hell. This stadium holds what about 70,000 people? Yeah, we're taking their money. Are we giving them Bibles? Are we preaching the truth to them, the full counsel of God? Are we telling them to repent of their sins? Jesus Christ came not for the righteous, but to call sinners to repentance. Are you calling sinners to repentance today? Great tabernacle, city of all the Texas, we're calling you to repent this day. It's time to repent. And put your faith and trust in the real Jesus of the Bible. Oneness is also heresy. You see, he is a cult. Examine yourself, people. Here's the fruit of the United Pentecostal Church. Jesus says you should know them by their fruit. This is the fruit of the United Pentecostal Church. Charging sinners to park in their parking lot. Having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. Having a form of godliness but denying the power of. What are we doing, people? Fake tabernacle with your pastor at. Call him out here. We want to talk to your pastor. For the men of God right there sitting in that chair. Come talk to us. The Bible says it's a time for the faith which was once delivered unto the state. Contend for the faith which was once delivered up to the saints. If you claim to be a saint of God, what are you doing? You can't hold hands with Satan, hold hands with God. Just try to send your form more against them. Are you calling these people to repentance? Are you sharing the gospel? Are you sharing the love of Christ with them? Sir, I want you to know that Jesus died for your sins. He is buried and he rose again on the third day. Do you believe that today, sir? you believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins, sir? He loves you so much, he wants you to repent. He wants to forgive you. Two people went by right there. Did you share the gospel with them? These other people, you share the gospel with these people. You've been holding up a sign. What are we doing? What are we doing? We care more about money than the things of God. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. They're calling the cops. Calling yourself Christians. They must be. The They're both Jesus on the phone. Christ. What are we doing, people? What are we doing? It's no wonder the church in America is so dead in their sins. So lost. We have service on Sunday, and we sit in the parking lot. Instead of witnessing to these lost people that are dying, most of them going to hell, we take their money. We take their money. What are we doing? How can we say we're following the Jesus of the Bible? When Jesus Christ said, we have received, freely give. If you're really about the kingdom of God, you let these people park for free and witness to them. You let them park for free and witness to them. All these lost souls, all these souls going by and not hearing the gospel. That Jesus Christ died for your sins, he was buried in your house again on the third day, but he wants you to turn away from your sins, turn away from your drunkenness, 
Turn away from your sex outside of marriage. Turn away from your filthy communication. Your immodest clothing. Supporting things like homosexuality and abortion. We need to turn away from that. And we need to get on fire for God. This is lukewarm Christianity right here. This is lukewarm Christianity. What are we doing, people? You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. We're supposed to be the light of the world. The light of the world. We're supposed to shine in the darkness. Light and darkness does not mix. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, sir, taking away that seed, being used by the devil. Please, people. We're pleading with you today to repent of your sins. Put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Jesus of the Bible. This is a false congregation right here. A false congregation. Claim to walk in holiness. You know the Bible says, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Claim to walk in holiness. Yeah, we're charging sinners to park in their parking lot. I came here on a, on a regular season game. They're getting drunk. They're drinking. Using filthy communication. The what kids, are you doing, people? Kids aren't being trained up right. The Bible says to train up your child right the way he should go. When he's old, he will not depart from it. Are you going to tell those four people right there about the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ? Or are you going to remain silent? Don't be a, uh, going to tell this okay. man that drunkenness can lead to hell? That no drunkard will inherit the kingdom of God? Are you going to tell these people the truth? True level one, you're the rest to come. The prophet Ezekiel says, if you don't want him, the blood will be on your head. He also says, the soul that sinner shall die. How can we see so many people in their sins? Getting drunk, worshiping sports, dressing in modest, using filthy communication, yet we remain silent. The Bible says, the wicked flee when no man pursues, but the righteous is bold as a lion. That's the problem with the church in America. We got too many men that claim to follow Christ, but they're spineless cowards. Men without backbones, scared to take a stand against sin. Stand, scared to take a stand against sin. You know why? Because they're still walking in sin. How can we see people on their way to hell? Walking to that broad road and not say nothing. How can we not share the gospel with them? That Christ Jesus came, he died for their sins. He is buried and he rose again on the third day. How can we not tell him that Jesus loves them? And he wants them to repent. God wants to forgive you today. United Pentecostal Church, Faith Tabernacle of Arlington, Texas. God wants to forgive you. Jesus died for your sins, sir. You in the jersey. He died for your sins. He cares about you so much. He died for your sins. Why are you not sharing the gospel with these lost people? So many souls. Jesus Christ talks about a narrow road. He says, you shall find it. You shall find the narrow road. Please, people, examine yourselves. We ask you to examine yourselves today to see if you're true in the faith. And if you're calling the police, that's not of God. We're preaching oracles of God, people. We're preaching the scriptures. We're preaching the word of God. Your pastor ought to be ashamed of himself. We've already been out here multiple times to rebuke him. He ought to be ashamed of himself. Charging sinners to come into this parking lot to park, tailgate, get drunk, use filthy communication. Even some of your members here said it. That they do that stuff. They got to clean up their mess. Even some of your own congregation members said that. You call the police on this, you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. You call yourselves Christians? What are we doing, people? What are we doing Say we follow Jesus Christ? Who are you for? Are you for the Jesus of the Bible? Yeah. Yeah, you give them a handshake because they don't confront you in your sin. Are you living free from sin, sir? Are you living holy for God? Because if you're not, you're going to burn in hell. We don't want you to go to hell, sir. Jesus Christ says if you don't repent, you will perish. You give them the thumbs up because you know why? They let you park in the parking lot for $50. But when I confront you in your sin, you don't want anything to do with me. When I challenge you in your sin, sir, you don't want anything to do with me, sir. That's the problem with the people in America. They love their sin more than they love God. Are you this is a full serious money that you're taking in? Are you reporting that to the IRS? Are you a 501c3 tax non-exempt status? Are you reporting this $50 that you're taking in? 50 here, 50 there. We're on the public sidewalk, people. 
We're pleading with you today, City of Arlington, Texas, Faith Tabernacle Church. We're calling you to repentance today. We're calling you to repentance today, Faith Tabernacle. Your pastor needs to repent. You need to get on fire for God. You need to leave this wicked cult. When this is heresy, you're not a Pentecostal church, it's a cult. It's a wicked cult. Barely started in the 1900s. Do your research, people. Do your research. When this is a heresy, you're not a Pentecostal church, it's a wicked cult. It's time to come out of it and get right with God. We're going to preach to them, man. We just thought we stopped here, man. This is a false church right here, man. Going outside the stadium to preach. We haven't done anything wrong, sir. Yeah. For what? We haven't done anything against the wrong, sir. Yeah, we haven't done anything against the wrong. Keep the camera on. Yeah, I don't, I don't have to give you this, sir. We haven't done anything wrong. You've been legally detained by me. Yeah, for what? Investigation. For what, though? For you, the service Here. of peace. Yeah, so with the, uh, the, the peace and there's there's other uh, people on speakers right now, they're getting drunk. Uh, look, the church, honestly, all they said is they just want you to leave. Yeah, we're and since you're leaving, yeah. that's fine. So you're not going to get in trouble today for any of this? Okay, I just need your ID. So let me ask you a question. Name. If I don't give you my ID, will you give me a citation for your arrest? Yes or no? Huh? No? Okay, then I'm not giving you my ID. God bless you, sir. We're going to go on and okay. keep That's fine, you're leaving. That's fine. So please, sir, I encourage you, man, because we ran into that with the police officer. Maybe your department needs to do some education on freedom of speech. We can break no laws. We're on a public sidewalk. And your people keep us drunk in here. Here, there. Doing all types of other That's stuff, and you guys are turning your eyes to them. So for you to ask me for my information, I don't understand that. That doesn't make no sense. Ultimately, the whole reason why they're calling is the whole reason why they're calling is we consider breach of the peace. Like, let's say, you know, I get on this air horn and I turn it all the way up to whatever. Say what you was going to say. Absolutely, the First Amendment covers every. You could be, you could be yelling obscenity and stuff like that. Unfortunately, the First Amendment would still cover you. Then all we're trying to do is make sure that they're breaching the fence. Oh yeah, well, Dave, what about the people don't care? Like, I'm, we've been in Arlington many times where we've had wrongs. Well, the reason it's a breach of peace is somebody actually called a complaint. Okay. Okay. If no, like a noise complaint, a neighbor can have their music up as loud as they want. If nobody calls, it's not a safe pocket. It's not a complaint. Oh, we're not going to do anything about it. Well, God bless y'all. Okay, we're actually going down there, man. You guys stay safe. All right. If he would have told me to give it or else I cited, then you give it to him. But for them to just get it, so then they get to know who we are and then. Yeah. Jesus Christ, our beautiful.